Hello and welcome to what's new in ID8 BIMLINK for the May 2018 release. My name is Glynis Patterson with ID8 Software and thanks for joining me today for this short update video. This video is designed for existing ID8 BIMLINK customers and covers the new features and benefits found within the May 2018 release for ID8 BIMLINK. Revit version 2019 became publicly available in April of 2018 and in May of 2018 ID8 Software released new versions of ID8 BIMLINK. Before we cover the rest of our ID8 BIMLINK improvements, I want to thank all those who help us improve. Much of the work we're about to review is a direct result of the feedback, so thank you. The May 2018 release of all ID8 software solutions includes improvements made to installation and licensing. Now when you use our EXE installer, you'll have the option to install and activate up to four versions at once as shown here. These changes will simplify the process for both network and standalone licensing customers. If you are using the MSI files to deploy, please note that those are still available per version from our website. For standalone licensed customers, this simplified process does require a new license code. After installing the new release for any of the versions 2016 through 2019, you may be prompted to manage your existing license. When this happens, choose the Manage License option as shown then the Activate button to input your new license code. This process is not required for network customers. Qualified standalone customers should contact support at id8software.com to request a new license code when ready to migrate to Revit 2019. The new code will contain a hyphen with a 1L as shown here. ID8 Software for Revit 2019 is only available as a subscription license. Contact your ID8 Software local reseller or sales at id8software.com to add 2019 to your existing ID8 Software network or standalone license. Now let's move on to review the BIMLINK specific new features, enhancements, and bug fixes that are part of this release for Revit versions 2016 through 2019. In our previous release of BIMLINK, we added the ability to read room and space data across linked files. However, in doing this work, we created a bug which we've now fixed in this release. The bug impacted to and from room data only for door families that used the room calculation point and were reading data from a linked file. If you haven't looked into using this BIMLINK functionality yet, we highly recommend that you do so. Details about linked file data can be found online in our help file. Next up is a customer request to add reference planes to BIMLINK so that they can be renamed. Because reference planes can be used to define parts, having logical names is invaluable for this task. Sometimes having just one more piece of data can open up new data solutions. This request comes from an advanced BIMLINK customer who asked us for access to the cross-section rotation property. Look for two new sample links in BIMLINK, analytical columns and structural columns analytic. Both contain this new property. This next improvement is another great example of needing the right data for the job. Several customers asked us to label the design option names to flag the primary option. The sample link shown here is construction QTO primary option. With this modest change, we can now easily prepare a quantity takeoff that excludes non-primary elements, allowing for a greater degree of accuracy. Annotation crops are most typically used on dependent views as a way of hiding text and dimensions, but is also used on non-dependent views to crop and or include section and elevation markers without callout or other duplicate views. Because Revit does not permit the editing of more than one crop offset at once, this new enhancement can be a significant time saver for larger projects. And lastly, we've added a top requested feature. Understanding who is creating and modifying both elements and types within the project has been asked by many customers over several years. Use the sample link called QCMC who did this to access these two new properties. We're only able to maintain our quality through your excellent communications with our team. If you have a moment, please do send us your requests. You can do this through the help menu as shown. We want to know both the good and ugly, even if you need more information in our help file, we want to know, so be sure to drop us a line. There are two ways to access this new release. From within the BIMLINK application, you can find updates via the help menu as shown. You can also download all of our software from the id8software.com download page. Starting with version 2019, ID8 Software is available as subscription. Contact your local sales partner or email us at sales at id8software.com for any pricing questions. And again, if you're an existing standalone subscription customer, you can request your new license code via support at id8software.com. 
Be sure to check out our in-product and online help files for detailed information on how to make the most of ID8 BIMLINK. For more information on ID8 software, including online training, recorded videos, and upcoming events, visit us online at ID8Software.com. Thanks for listening to what's new in ID8 BIMLINK for the May 2018 release.